it's Miss Amy at the Grass Valley Library. Thank you for joining us for our final episode of Random Acts of Science to go along with our summer learning program. The final country that we are going to be investigating is Italy. One of my favorite things about Italy is pasta. So we're going to do a science experiment with pasta. We're going to make it dance a little bit. So I hope this is as fun for you as it was for me to figure it out. It did take me five or six tries to get this experiment to work. Um, so it might take, it might not work for you the first time either. And there's a couple different things you can try. I can talk to you about them as we go along. So here's what you're going to need. Hopefully you have all these things at home, some baking soda, some vinegar, you're gonna need a pan or a tray, or you could do the whole experiment outside, that works too. But um, we are gonna combine these two things, the baking soda and the vinegar. And as you've seen before, when we do an acid-base combination, which is what these two things are, we get that big reaction that creates volcanoes or um, the ghost rockets that we did earlier this year. So there's gonna be a bit of a reaction and it's gonna make a bit of a mess. So just be prepared for that. Um, food coloring is optional. You're gonna maybe need some scissors, also optional. You're gonna need some pasta. So I'm gonna use spaghetti. You could use linguine. You could try it again with macaroni. You could do any kind of your favorite pasta that you have around the house. Um, one thing that I found is it's supposed to work with uncooked noodles. It worked better for me with cooked noodles. So I brought some of those today. So reserve some from your next pasta night or propose a pasta night so you have some extra noodle noodles because um, that's what you'll need for this experiment. You're gonna need a measuring cup and a, and a tablespoon, a, a clear glass, and some water. So, all right, let's get started. The first thing that we're gonna do is get your glass situated on the tray. We're gonna add one cup of water to the glass. Okay, cup of water, and then we need a cup of vinegar. And then we're gonna add the pasta. So you really only need about four or five um, long noodles, and then we're gonna cut them or shape them into smaller pieces. Probably no bigger than your pinky finger, but think about you know maybe an inch or inch or t um, half an inch even three quarters of an inch. Not very big because we want them to be small enough to um, to dance. And I'll talk to you about that here in a minute. So I'm using some scissors, but you could just rip these with your fingers as well. I think we almost have enough here. Okay, we'll try that. Okay. And the last thing we're gonna do is add um, the secret ingredients, which is the baking soda. And that's where that reaction is gonna come from. Actually, I forgot to add a little bit of food coloring. Just kind of makes it a little more fun. Get that stirred up a little bit. Okay, um, so like I said, this is gonna make a big, um, a big reaction, so. When we add this, the science of what's going on here is the, um, the base acid reaction. The base is the baking soda. The acid is the vinegar. When those two things combine with water in the mix as well, a carbon dioxide gas is formed, those gas bubbles. So the same bubbles that are in your soda pop or um, in other carbonated be beverages. So that's what we're gonna create in here. Because the pasta, the edges of that pasta is a little bit rough, those carbon dioxide bubbles, instead of rising to the surface and popping, they're gonna kind of stick to the pasta. And when that pasta, which normally sinks to the bottom of the water, like it is right now, when that pasta has enough carbon dioxide gas bubbles attached to it, it becomes less dense and it becomes buoyant and it rises to the surface. So once it hits the surface, the gas bubbles pop and it becomes just dense again and it, and it sinks back down to the bottom. So this is gonna happen um, throughout the cup here as we do this, as different sizes of noodles get buoyant enough to rise to the surface and it's gonna look like they're all dancing. So that's what we're hoping is gonna happen. So let's see, we're gonna add this and see what happens.
have it. I hope yours worked as well as mine did, and I hope it didn't take you too long to figure out the right combination um, to get it to go. Once your noodles stop dancing, you can always add another scoop of um, baking soda and it will start again and you can take it from there. So thank you so much for joining me this summer and thanks for joining me this week. And we will see you this fall for more episodes of Random Acts of Science.